Good morning. I'm looking super tired this morning. <clears throat> I'm actually getting dressed and on my way to the gym. Usually I take kickboxing on Sundays, but the teacher is still out. She comes back tomorrow. So I'm going to try spin with a different teacher. Not sure how it's going to go. And then I may stay for yoga. It's like a beginner's yoga. Um, there's like a half hour in between spin and yoga. So maybe have some coffee, lift. I don't know. Playing it by ear. Still so tired from the past few days. Hopefully I can catch up on sleep today. I'm such a grandma. Oh well. Time to work out. Spin was awesome. I ended up not staying for yoga because it's only 8.48 right now. And yoga's not till 9.30. And I really just didn't feel like hanging around there till 9.30. Um, <clears throat> I'll stretch at home and foam roll. But it was a different spin instructor than I take on Monday and Wednesday night. This is... Uh, this instructor teaches also like a hip hop dance class, which is so much fun. Um, I used to take it. I don't take it anymore, but this class, she had us in and out of the saddle and up and she really does like first, uh, I don't know if it's first position. That's, I think that's ballet. So first gear, I don't know, whatever. She had us in and out of the saddle, um, which was really challenging and I'm feeling it in my quads already. She came over and fixed my bike twice because mine it was too low. But um, I burned 615 calories. I feel awesome. I'm not like exhausted, exhausted. And now I can go home and start my day before 9 a.m. And I have a lot to do. So I'm in the car with mom. And we are on our way to the bakery because we are going to order my bridal shower favors. Because the shower is 34 days from today. And I bet you all can guess. Maybe you can't. But what I'm going to get. Don't tell. I'll tell them after. Surprise them. I'll tell you guys after. But we're going in now. I'm really excited. It's one of the best bakeries on Long Island. And they're also doing our wedding cake because it's included for the catering hall. So that's also pretty good. They're all so cute. Have a good one. Enjoy. Thank you. You too. Can you help? No. Yeah, but, I mean, you're not going to come in here and... Oh, my God. so many Um. So how amazing were all those cookies? They, we kind of went a little crazy and bought a bunch <laughs> to bring home. Um, we ordered my cookies, and they are pink glitter mustache cookies. I thought you weren't going to tell them. I did. I had to tell them because I'm so excited. But you can't keep a secret. No, I can't keep a secret. Um, so they're going to be oversized mustaches. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Woo and then we picked up cookies for us, for my dad, for the neighbors. <laughs> Like, she got, moon, what are they, moon cookies? Mm. Almond with chocolate? Mm. Almond chocolate mm -hmm. moon cookies? Pecan. Pecan. I got a pretty ladybug. So the mustaches are going to be like this size with pink, and this has glitter. I don't know. Yeah, you can see it. And um, we got peace signs for the babies next door and butterflies for their parents. And we got macaroons, which I'll show you, you guys show later. show them. They're amazing. Are they in there? They're accessible. I'll show you guys Cookie haul! Are you ready? Are you ready? Here's the butterfly. Oh, uh, look at the glitter. Oh, the glitter. Alright, show them the other one. Peace sign. Oh, that's so cute. Best cookies. Best cookies. So good. I'll show you the macaroons when we get home. But you saw them in the clip before. And now, we're going yeah. home. Mom's going to the gym because she didn't go this morning. No, yeah, and I just had cookies. <laughs> Whatever, you live once. The spin teacher told me yesterday, you could walk out of the gym right now and get hit by a bus. So eat the cookie, eat what you want, and enjoy your life. And she's right. See you guys later. So I just ate my cookie, and this is the result. Stained tongue. Mom had a little piece of the head, which was black, and her mouth is all blue. Oh, no. Yeah, no, it's not really that blue. But the whole reason my sister had her graduation party cookies bought from there last June, and my mom got black graduation caps. Why'd you get black? Because black is the color of a graduation. Oh, okay. I thought it was because maybe it was part of our school colors. I don't remember. And everyone at the party ate their cookies, and everyone's mouths turned blue because it was so much black food coloring. So mom called them and complained about it, obviously, because there was no warning. And they gave us a gift card, so that's why we're using it for the shower. But now, 
<laughs> we might have red mouths. Best day ever. Food shopping for the week is complete and now it is meal prep time and I really don't have uh, too much meal prep to do. I'm sorry, my thumb hit the button and turned it off. Um, I'm actually just going to roast up some Brussels that I got yesterday at Costco like you saw. And I'm gonna make black bean quinoa sweet potato burgers. And that's going to be, uh-oh, my dinner for tonight. And it's also going to be my lunches for the week. So I'm gonna have like Brussels um, some days for lunch with the burgers or like side salad or both because I also bought um, this baby kale uh, Friday when I was with Eddie. Um, and I had like, he also left like bag of salad here and I have carrots and I got some cucumber and some celery. Oh, I also got these the other day and you know what? They look like they're already going bad. Are they? I don't know. I got carrot chips. I've been looking for these for a while actually. And um, you know, it's like having chips only to dip with hummus, only they're carrots. So I picked those up to have for snacks this week. Um, I don't know, cause I get bored. You guys know I get bored with my food really easily. So I'm gonna have carrot chips. Or they can also go on my salad. And then I have some leftover baby kale from last week's salads and some leftover snow peas. So just kind of prepping up some food. I'm kind of winging it this week because I was lazy. I really, because it's already after three and my whole day is kind of thrown off, I just didn't have a desire to do like my huge meal prep. I think I'm gonna do some overnight oats actually um, for some breakfasts this week as well because I haven't done that in a while and I bought some coconut yesterday like you saw. And I was talking to Becky this morning about making my overnight coconut uh, oats. And I haven't made those probably since last summer. Um, so yeah, I may make that a few nights for the next day. I don't know. So let's get to cooking. Before I cook, I actually wanted to show you my food store, Stop and Drop, um, which I think are everywhere, has this recipe book that's for free that they leave at like the cash register. And it's called Healthy Ideas. And it has 21 recipes. It has like coupons and stuff, um, some articles. Like there's a recipe here. Grilled chicken with mango strawberry relish. And one serving, 250 calories. Like that sounds amazing. So um, I'm actually going to be redoing my recipe binder later. It's over there in a mess and it needs a lot of work. But I was going through this just now, like looking, banana pudding, a healthy banana pudding recipe. Oh my God, this is the cutest thing ever. A vegetable bouquet recipe and I was like you know this would be nice to share but I don't think everyone can find it and then I saw our magazine has gone mobile so they have an app and you can download it it's called the free healthy ideas apps and it's available on the iPad Android and Kindle devices so not iPhone but iPad um, I bet you can find it online also so it's called the healthy ideas app if anyone's interested in getting some free recipes or anything like that, I thought it would be nice to include. So for lunches this week, I'm making the sweet potato black bean quinoa burgers. And the recipe that I am adapting from is going to be, is from thenakedkitchen.com. And I have it printed out here and I'm making quite a lot of changes to it. So maybe I'll post my own version on my blog this week. Um, but I printed it out and put it in one of the recipe holders. And it's good. The reason I do a recipe binder instead of like a recipe book or whatever or recipe cards is I can print them out from my favorite blogs or a website that I find and put it right into these clear plastic things. So that way when I'm cooking, it doesn't get on the recipe and it doesn't ruin it. Um, I have all of these to really go through and see if they're worth keeping and put in plastic um, covers that I have because a lot of them are before I really started eating clean or focusing on seriously eating healthy um, so there's probably some that I could throw away and reuse the plastic for but I think a recipe binder is a really great idea so right now I'm starting the cooking process I just have my black ble black beans yeah they're new I don't know if you've ever heard of them before um, black beans I rinse them out really good and they're just sitting here getting all the water out in a bowl and now I am 
taking the skin off of my sweet potatoes and I'm going to cube them and then I'm going to put them in the microwave because I don't feel like steaming a pot of water um, to boil them and then mash them. Sweet potatoes cooked and mashed and I mashed half of the black beans and then the rest of them just get added in, adding the quinoa, some garlic and herb seasoning, coconut flour, and some oil, some onion, sea salt, some sunflower seeds, because it says to add them, and I have them, so I might as well, and garlic, and whatever. So I'm going through all of the recipes that I showed you guys earlier to organize my binder and separate, like, some for my mom and some for me. And, like, we're, I'm reading some through some of these. She's moving out. In a few months, yeah. And this recipe that I found is for vegetable bars. I don't know what it's where it's from, but here's some of the ingredients. Two packages of crescent rolls, two packages of cream cheese, half a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of sour cream, a package of dry ranch dressing mix, then only half a cup of your favorite vegetables. So this is probably the most unhealthy recipe. Like some of these things that we have you know, we're way before I got my act together and like really knew about healthy eating, but it's really interesting to go through now and just see how bad I was eating before and the change. What attracted you? Honestly, anything I saw that involved cheese and bread, which still I do love both of those things, but I don't eat them nearly that as often, yeah, as I used to. So I just thought I'd tell you guys that. So another thing that I just found in this pile of papers is back when I was in co uh, co local college, this is spring 2007, which is the same year that I met Eddie. Um, they asked me and my parents to be in like the Suffolk Broadcasters mag uh, newspaper because my parents went to the same program that I did when they were in college. And this is the picture that was posted in there. Look, obviously I'm the one in the middle. Look at how fat I am. Dad, look at this. This is the Suffolk Magazine. That, oh, wow. Look at how heavy I was. Well, I have that original picture. You do? Uh -huh. Oh, send that to me. Uh, well, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Yeah. Gross. Okay, the sweet potato quinoa black bean burgers are definitely way too dry. Um, to have as burgers. The recipe needs to be reworked. I don't know how the original recipe, like how she made them. They're good, they taste great, but they're they're crumbly, they fall apart. So I'll probably be having them over salads or just eating them with a fork. Um, as long as I can keep them portioned out, it shouldn't be an issue, but just wanted to fill you in on that. Half a sweet potato, some grilled vegetables and what's left of one of the sweet potato burgers because I was picking at it for a while. That's what's for dinner, vegetarian style. I almost forgot to show you guys my favorite purchase from today. I don't think I showed you. Um, it's this little dark pink, I'd say, and white polka dot spatula. Um, they had it at the food store and it was on sale and I wasn't going to get it, but I text my friend, uh, Allison, and she knows like everybody does, my obsessions with polka dots, which is similar to my obsession with mustache, mustaches. Um, and I was like, it's $5.24, which is such a random price. I was like, should I get it for the, you know, when I move out in a few months or not? And she's like, absolutely. Like, that's so cheap. So thanks to her, I picked it up. Um, but I am really happy. I mean, it's not often I use spatulas, but it's just so cute. It'll look cute even if I don't use it just to have on display. So, with that being said, that's going to be the end of this vlog because I'm going to try and go to sleep early tonight because I'm very tired. My eyes are so red. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and all my videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just kidding. We have to take off the countdown for today because it is another day. So we are taking off number 34. 33 days left on the lock it up calendar. Up, oh, the boys are in bed having their night-night snacks, which is carrots, baby carrots. <gasps> Did I say the magic word? <laughs> All right, for real this time. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.